Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. So glad you could join us this morning um, as we look at connecting with God in such a significant way every morning. And, and so today I want to talk to you about who's watching out or who's watching your back, who's watching out for you. Uh, this comes from uh, Rick Warren's great devotional, How the Church Meets Your Deepest Needs. When you go on vacation, you probably ask a neighbor to look out after your house while you're gone. In fact, some communities even have neighborhood watch groups. But while your neighbors watch your stuff, who's watching out for your soul? Who in your life defends you, protects you, helps you stay on track? No matter who you are, you need people who will look out for you and warn you of spiritual, spiritual traps. You'll find those people in your church family. In fact, that's what the family of God's all about. Philippians 2.4 says, look out for one another's interests, not just your own. We all have blind spots, areas of struggle and temptation in our lives that we can't see. That's where your church family comes in. They're to stay vigilant, looking out for the enemy. You have an enemy who wants to destroy your life. In fact, before you even wake up, Satan is thinking about how to defeat you every day with temptations and trials, dead ends and detours. He fights with an arsenal of hurts, habits, and hangups. And if you try to fight him on your own, that arsenal can leave you defeated. That's why you need to find a community of believers who will help you. Ecclesiastes 4.12 says, A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Community, your church family, that's God's answer to spiritual defeat. We're always better together. Last night I had a group of uh, young men here that, that do our Wednesday night Bible studies, and, and or right before last, and uh, even, as we, even as we had those here, I asked them, because it was our last one for the semester, I asked them the question, I said, uh, where are you today versus where were you at the beginning of the semester? And man, it was so fun and heartwarming and just to hear story after story. We had some that said, well, I started this year as an atheist and now I'm a believer. One says, man, I didn't consider God at all and now I'm a follower of Jesus. Another one says, you know, I now have a group of people that I can do life with in a healthy way. Man, he wins the prize, right? All of those are great answers. And yes, going from atheist to believer, wow. But, but the truth is we were not meant to do life alone. We weren't meant to do life alone. You need somebody to watch your back. And that's what we're to be to each other. And that's what I'm praying for you, that you would watch one another's back and that you would be a part of a small group and part of a, and part of a body of Christ that will love you enough to look out for your blind spots. Let me pray for you today, Father. Thank you so much for this day, for your grace, and for the peace that we offer in Jesus Christ. It's in your name that we pray, Jesus, asking you to have your way in our lives. Amen. Well, I hope that you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. Now go be salt and light.